Dogs trained for falconry are sought after by hunters worldwide. They are essential for hunting and retrieving birds, rabbits, and other small animals. If you're looking for a dog breed that can do the job, you came to the right place. Out of all the thousands of breeds, only a few can stand out for this activity, two of which include the Vishla and the Weimarner. But, of course, this is not the only ability that people want. As a dog lover, you also want a companion who can be affectionate and protective. So, which of these breeds is better as a family dog? Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. Today, let's look into two of the best hunting dogs on the planet, the Vizsla and the Weimarner. Which is better as a guard dog in a dangerous neighborhood? Appearance The Vizsla is known for its noble appearance and its well-proportioned body. It has a rust-colored coat that is short, smooth, and dense. This dog has a long muzzle with a brown square-shaped nose. Its ears are pendant-like and hang down on the side of its face. The Vishla's paws are rounded, thick, and webbed, which contribute to its light-footed trot. Like the Vishla, the Weimarner has an athletic build with a silver-colored coat that is complemented by their colorful nails of gray and amber. They have wide-set eyes that come in amber, gray, or blue-gray. Also, these creatures are known for having large folded ears that accentuate the Weimarner's slim face. Origin The Vizsla originated in Hungary as pointer dogs. Archives show that these dogs existed way back in the 10th century, as they assisted the early inhabitants of Hungary in hunting and retrieving. The Weimarner, on the other hand, is a younger breed that originated in Germany in the 19th century. They were bred to become hunting dogs. Because of their amazing sense of smell, they easily capture their prey and please their masters. It's no surprise both these dogs carried a high prey drive until the 21st century. Being pointer dogs is already in their blood since time immemorial. Size the Vizsla is an average-sized dog that grows from 21 to 24 inches and weighs from 55 to 60 pounds. The females are slightly shorter and lighter, growing from 21 to 23 inches and weighing 45 to 55 pounds. The Weimarner, on the other hand, is a little larger than the Vizsla. The males grow from 25 to 27 inches and weigh 70 to 90 pounds. Females, on the other hand, can grow from 23 to 25 inches and weigh 50 to 75 pounds. Lifespan Both of these dogs are generally healthy considering their size. The Vizsla can live for 12 to 15 years, while the Weimarner can live from 11 to 14 years. Can you imagine how many years of experience you can have together? With their lifespan, you can build a lifelong relationship built on trust and confidence. Personality The Vizsla and the Weimarner are both very affectionate and intelligent dogs. Despite being labeled as serious breeds because of their hunting backgrounds, these dogs are actually very clingy to their masters. This is why they're called Velcro dogs. They love the company of their humans and will try to spend every moment of their lives helping and pleasing their loved ones. Shedding When it comes to their shedding tendencies, the Vizsla has the advantage. It may have a double coat, but it sheds very lightly. The Weimarner, however, sheds moderately throughout the year. So, if you were to own one, invest in tools to help de-shedding faster. You also need lint removal tools to get some of their hair from your couch bed, or clothing. Grooming These dogs are easier to groom compared to others. You need a soft bristle to brush their hair at least once a week. Of course, regular bathing is necessary as well. This is important to control dirt that could cause infection. Aside from these, checking their ears and nails is necessary. These help prevent discomfort caused by infection 
and pain caused by nail protrusions. Other than that, caring for the Vishla and the Weimarner is easy. It just takes consistency. Intelligence When it comes to intelligence, both the Vizsla and the Weimarner excel. This makes them ideal companion dogs because they have a unique sense of initiative. They don't need to be commanded as long as you're confident you provided them with ample training. Trainability Both of these dogs are highly trainable. They are submissive to command and can easily pick up skills. However, these dogs need a firm yet respectful handler to tailor fit their behavior. Since they're highly affectionate, they prefer handlers who can discipline them with respect without resorting to violence. This is essential to maintain their sociable nature and at the same time unleash the hunter within them. Temperament Like any other dog, the Vizsla and the Weimarner need constant exercise. This is important to keep them satisfied and happy with life. These dogs are not couch potatoes. They prefer to work with their masters. Without a purpose, they could get bored and result in destructive activities. They can even resort to anxiety and aggression. Family Life Since these dogs are highly attached to their masters, the Vizsla and the Weimarner need to be around their humans most of the time. If you like long trips and can't offer the bonding time they need, these breeds might not be for you. The Vizsla and the Weimarner need a handler who can work with them regularly. To them, this is their ultimate purpose. Without it, they get demotivated or frustrated and may even resort to disruptive activities. Apartment Living The Vizsla and the Weimarner cannot live in apartments. They thrive in open spaces, like a fenced yard to play in. If they live in small areas, they tend to be bored and restless. Remember, these dogs are bred as hunters. They have a strong prey drive that makes them active and intense. If you were to own one, make sure to allot them the space where they can expend their energy. Friendliness towards strangers. The Weimarner is more reserved and vigilant while the Vizsla is very friendly towards strangers. With that said, the Weimarner will make a better guard dog if you need this potential. If you live in a dangerous neighborhood, the Weimarner is better for you. It can give you the security you need to ward off intruders and protect your family. Watchdog Ability In their ability to be watchdogs, the Vizsla works better because of its barking potential. When this dog sees people approach your property, its excitement will push him to voice out his emotions. This makes them ideal if you need someone to alert you in specific situations. The Weimarner may be reserved and doubtful towards strangers. However, it has a lower tendency to bark or howl. This makes them unlikely watchdogs in homes and establishments. Tolerance to weather. Because of their short coat, these dogs cannot tolerate the cold. This is why you need to offer them a stable and comfortable home, especially when the winter season comes. They may be able to tolerate the heat, but this does not mean you can let them stay under the sun for too long. Give them shelter to avoid heat stroke and heat spots. Also, give them water to keep their bodies hydrated. Health the Vizsla and the Weimarner are generally healthy dogs. However, they can be prone to several illnesses, such as dysplasia and hypothyroidism. Unfortunately, the Weimarner can be prone to other health issues aside from those two. It includes progressive retinal atrophy, epilepsy, and lymphoma. This is why regular vet checkups are necessary to prevent them from developing any of it. The experts can also recommend activities or supplements that can help you maintain their good health. It usually costs around $400 to $500 to care for the Vizsla and the Weimarner. However, this can be lessened if you provide their needs regularly. It may seem costly, but it does not compare to the affection, security, and services that they offer you. Do you think you can care for either or both of them?
why not get one for your own and experience their outstanding nature? Thanks for watching. Have you figured out which dog to get? If so, please leave us a comment with your thoughts. Also, please like the video if you find the video is useful. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more to come. And we'll see you next time.